Howdy, folks. Welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's going around. Is that a big top? I see they're lying on the ground. Ballyhoo. Ah, oh, Ballyhoo. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Smile a little wider with a Wisconsin getaway. Find mouth-watering dining ideas, must-see attractions, and endless accommodations at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And by Northwoods Brewing of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, dedicated to craft brewing specialty beers including Flop and Crappie, Lil Bandit Brown Ale, and Poplar Porter. NorthwoodsBrewPub.com And now here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, singer, songwriter, and part-time pig farmer, Michael Perry. Thank you, Phil, and howdy, Tent Show folks. Oh, it's great to be way up north here, under the beautiful blue and pearl gray canvas. This fine, stout tent at the foot of Mount Ashwa Bay, overlooking the ancient water surrounding the Apostle Islands, and just one sail full of breeze away from Shawamigan Bay. The performance you're about to hear is one in a long, long tradition of singing, dancing, and storytelling, performed live and in person beneath this beautiful tent. We keep her pitched from June until the autumn moons, and we'd be most grateful if you choose to join us. You'll find a complete schedule at BigTop.org. We hope you join us, and if you do, when the first note rises from the stage, we think you'll understand why patrons and performers alike love to say, Big Top Chautauqua. It's the Carnegie Hall of Tent Show. Tonight on Tent Show Radio, the Bodine. Tonight's musical guests, the Bodines, arrive at the tent packing a long history of music, the feel of which can still be traced back to their Waukesha, Wisconsin roots, even as they play in new iterations and to new generations. Whether you call it Roots Rock, Heartland Rock, or Alternative Rock, these are songs that have established their own place in the American consciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to welcome to the Big Top Chautauqua stage, the Bodines. Woo! Let me know if they're rocking too hard. I know it's Sunday night. And I want everybody to be comfortable and content, and uh, this song goes back to 1986, which was a mighty long time ago. It seems like it was just yesterday, but I guess it was a long time ago. It's a song I wrote about the neighborhood girls, all the angels out there. Whoa. She 
Thank you so much. This next song, well, we put out a record last summer. I hope some of you guys went out and found it. It was called American Made. Is that a yes? <laughs> I hope so. It's a really good record. Really proud of it. There's a song on there that was very personal for me. I grew up with a story. I used to tell people all the time about the neighborhood I grew up in and what happened to this sweet little angel that uh, lived close by. And uh, I wrote this song about it. I was always surprised why I hadn't written it early, but this is uh, for her tonight. The song is called Jay Leno, but it's for Donna.
Knox, this is Stefano and Telezano on keyboards and uh, David Duffy on fiddle over here. Woo! As I said, we put out a record last year and uh, this was a song that made its way onto the record, which was interesting because it wasn't a song that I wrote. And I don't have a big history of uh, doing that many cover songs, so. It was kind of cool that this one made its way on there because uh, I had grown up listening to this guy's music a lot. And uh, the things he wrote about, they really kind of meant a lot to me. I identified with what he was saying. And uh, sometimes I'd hear this song come on the radio late, late at night driving down the interstate. And this song would come on the radio and it, man, it just sounded so magical to me. So we put it on the record and uh, hopefully you like it. It's a Bruce Springsteen song.
happy I got some energy left. Good deal. This song is uh, about when all the world fell right, which is could be tonight, I think, right? There's nothing like playing outside on a beautiful summer night in a beautiful location like this right here, in this beautiful moment we got. Yeah! stores in the sky
Yeah, I used to sit in my room when I was a kid, look out the window and daydream all the time. I think it was really what I was best at doing in my life was just dreaming. That's what this song's all about, because this right here is what dreams are made of, right? One, two, three, four!
listening to Tent Show Radio. Welcome back to Tent Show Radio, folks. From the backstage dressing room with the one lonely little light bulb burning. I'm pleased to report that attendance for the recent reunion of the New Auburn High School class of 1983 came in at over 50%, which is to say there are an even dozen of us populating the group photos now riding around in our respective cell phones. A technological development the kindergarten version of us certainly never anticipated as we beamed from our monochromatic wallet prints. I'll limit myself in recounting the evening's festivities, in part because other people's class reunion memories are like other people's vacation photos. You can smile through the first two or three out of politeness, but at some point you don't know the players involved and are therefore not emotionally invested, and five minutes in you're edging toward an open fifth floor window or fighting the urge to claw madly at the nearest fire alarm. At 30 years, the memories are beginning to take on an amber hue, although once the recollections get rolling and the stories start spilling one after another, there is the invigoration of laughter and rediscovery, all leading to the inevitable moment when you shake your head and simply can't believe it all happened so long ago, so quickly. It's an inborn human trait, our bafflement and fascination with the passage of time, And you don't have to wait three decades to feel it. Just last week, my first grader was wistfully reminiscing about the halcyon days of pre-K, a time as distant to her as my memories of Skylab and a full head of hair. It was good to see everyone, even Greg H., who, when bored with trigonometry, used to chase me out of the high school math room and down the hall while brandishing the wooden leg of a dismantled chair. We've been friends since before kindergarten, when he introduced himself by hitting me in the head with a rock. Takes time to work through these things, and I still tend to be a little twitchy in his presence. At the reunion, he sat across the table from me. First time he reached for his steak knife, I nearly threw my back out, resisting the urge to sprint screaming into the parking lot. As far as our classmates unable to attend, we pieced together what we knew and what we last heard, and... Thus, they were present, too. The bulk of us spent every one of our 13 school years, kindergarten through graduation, in the same class. You do that amount of time in proximity, you develop familial-level connections that survive all intervening time and change. The highlight of the evening came when the waitress delivered menus printed in a font so large that we were able to read them without our recently acquired reading glasses, A shame, perhaps, because how entertaining it would have been to watch an entire table of people perform the self-pat-down dance that becomes so familiar once the eyeballs go. Someone mimed the pat-down, and the chuckle that went around the table reflected our ability to grin in the face of our own deterioration. One of our absent classmates had arranged to finance a few rounds of drinks, so after our meal, we moved to the bar. When the bartender kindly asked us what kind of music we prefer on the jukebox, our immediate requests included Duran Duran, Men at Work, and Survivor. But in the end, we decided it might be most appropriate to just serve up Springsteen's glory days on a continuous loop. We only know the life we've lived. People who go to large schools in big cities forge long-lasting friendships, too. But as I observed us in the mirror of the roughneck bar, showing our age and feeling our age and laughing agelessly in the face of it, the thought that occurred to me was, am I ever glad I wound up being one of this bunch? At some point in the evening, at some point in the evening, our classmate Renee arrived, pushing attendance from an even dozen to thirteen. Felt like a lucky number. And now, ladies and gentlemen, back on the big top stage, the Bodines. 
All right, let's get back to a sing-along song here so that we can all sing along. I started playing this song somewhere around 1983, probably. And every time we sing this song, y'all sing along, so please <laughs> sing along tonight. <laughs>
next song's called American. It's about the ideology that made America a great place in the first place. It wasn't the extreme right or left. It was people with common sense like you and me. You ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four.
It's a uh, great time, great time, great time, man. Uh, you know, you only get so many good times in life, and I, I try to just really embrace them as they come by, man. I thank you so much for tonight. You don't have to sit down to this song. This is a good song to slip your arm around somebody's waist and just do a little slow swaying, a little slow waltz, maybe. It's a beautiful summer song.
Now, did anyone here tonight come just to get closer to free? Yes, you came to get closer to free. Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, three. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the summer home of Tent Show Radio. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Smile a little wider with a Wisconsin getaway. Find mouth-watering dining ideas, must-see attractions, and endless accommodations at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior, proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions. 
online at thebayfieldin.com. Tune in next time on your radio or online. Station locations, Big Top Summer Show schedule, online ticketing, and touring schedule of the Blue Canvas Orchestra at bigtop.org or by calling 1-888-BIG-TENT. Or stay in touch with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bigbluetent. Tent Show Radio is produced by Tom Fabjans, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you join us in the tent or join us in the air, whether you beam us or stream us, we're as grateful as a guy who can still remember the names of the people at his class reunion. Remember, the Big Top is open all summer long and into autumn and has been for going on three decades now. We'd love it if you came up and or over for a show. And if you're traveling by World Wide Web, I'd be grateful if you dropped by to visit me, your grateful tent show radio host at sneezingcow.com. Yep, just the way it sounds. I'm going to head on back home now and dig out some old cassette tapes. Drive careful. If you can't drive careful, watch out for the other guy. We'll see you next time, and remember where I come from, and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.